Welcome back. This is still tea time on Plus TV Africa. Of course, that was a very intense conversation mm. with um, Sega Link. And um, the aim of that conversation was basically to help people understand um, what he understands about the kids. Because mm. for him to come out to put out that um, length of thread, um, mm. it's either you're helping people understand something mm. or you're trying to help the case get better. So yeah. I, I still don't know where he stands on this. Mm. But I want to say that there are some things that I've, I've seen on social media. Um, somebody tweeting a video of the band um, <laughs> on the stage. Oh, and somebody saying she eat or cooked for them mm. at some point. And in my head, I'm like, cooking for them or whatever. We have marital rape, which we are yet mm. to even establish uh, as mm. a law in Nigeria. Mm. So the fact that you even had sex with somebody yesterday does, does not mean that, that you cannot rape, rape the person today. today. Talk more of the fact that you cooked for them. Like, and, I mean, it was just so ridiculous and yeah. I was seeing but the in reaction my, I and think, I'm, in I my think, head I'm wondering what do they um, what's hope, the aim? Yeah. What's the aim? Yeah. What's, what do they hope to achieve with all these things they are bringing up? Because yeah. it doesn't mean that you still did not rape the person. Yeah. So what is the point? Right. But I think I kind of understand what Sega Link was trying to achieve with what he said. I think, um, obviously, in every case, influences matter. Like, when you start hearing from A, you start hearing from B, they start hearing from C and D. It kind of clouds your judgment. As much as I understand what he's trying to do, if you're not going to call out these influencers with proof, then you're compounding Yeah, I understand. I, I know it kind of clouds your judgment. So what I'm, my advice to... Um, Shayton, on a family and a legal team is that I think they should let her be for a while even if it's just one I think the drama has been so much because I think if she has time to reflect on all of this she'll have a clearer but picture she's been off social of exactly media. what this she wants. drama is yeah she's been off yeah. social media yeah. but you don't know what is happening in her real for, life actually okay, do you think, understand I think for Link to come out and say that basically question her mental health is a bit of a stretch it didn't me. question her mental health she just said it needed that to be not be influenced by a lot of people there's difference between questioning a mental Mental health and saying that you actually need some clarity and space for yourself. I don't. I literally don't see any. If if you're saying that I'm being clouded, I'm, I'm, I'm under emotional distress and I can't fathom things. Right. That is exactly what mental health is. But um, the point is, I, I felt that that was a bit harsh. Also, I think we're also forgetting that he came out after that tweet and basically nullified all this tweet that we're talking about on the show. Basically said uh, he did, there was a lot of gaps like he mentioned and that actually, yes, she was really detained after this tweet that people are just analyzing. And I was trying to get to that point, but he didn't want to. It's interesting for someone who calls people names and calls feminist COVID and this and this and that and that were influencing things. But then when you are being questioned about that there's a lot of attack with that i think once you come out social media and you are basically attacking you have to be prepared for the same type of energy people are not going to like lullaby their way back into that um it's gotten very messy and it's gotten it's gotten messy to, for people who are not really con who are not really in the subject matter i think that's the only thing i agreed with him today that it's not about um Co um, Sega Link and or Kiki the Modi or yeah. the feminist movement or the it's that's why I, I didn't find that tweet necessary like mm. it wasn't to help the situation it was very attacking the point is if you have help if you have access to this lady you have um, certain information if it's what you're bringing out there isn't helpful but it's causing more division that you are claiming to be against which is why I asked if then it's in communication it with the stand to end with mm -hmm. people that are actually working with this because I think they should sit and have a conversation so um, Kanye West says he's um, running for president but um, the information we have on the running for president and the reports are saying that he he has not taken any actual step. Mm. So mm. I don't know if this is another stunt for his upcoming album mm. or if he's actually going to run but in the next election and mm. not this one. It could I mean there is hashtag 2020 vision yeah. or you could receive the vision now for he has the future. The since <laughs> you know, 2015. We've been waiting since 2015. So what party is he running? Is oh, he going yeah. independent? He hasn't, he in hasn't some done states, any of according that. to the reports as well, they've yeah. closed for him to file. So yeah. what is he doing? Yeah. Like you said, I believe um because in 20 was it 2016, he said it was going to be running 2024. So I believe this is mm. now the time where he wants to actually take the step and make it happen. So and um, Elon Musk has given his support already, mm -hmm. so let's let's see how this goes. I but think that's not enough, Sha, mm -hmm. for Elon Musk to give your support or for him to tweet that. I, I don't know, I can't help but think this is cloud chasing, because if you haven't actually done anything 
to in the political space, yeah. the political space and it's for 2024 why are you bringing it up right now mm -hmm. um it's really weird to be bringing up when is the, an election that's about to, to start happen. because then mm -hmm. even if you were trying to prepare for that you could have done that last you know a month ago or like later when the thing is done or something um it wasn't very clear but it's Kanye West that I'm not in any way surprised that you know he's bizarre if that makes sense so he's sticking mm -hmm. um to his brand but all i can say on this topic is do not vote Kanye West as a joke if i can say that like a million times <laughs> do not vote by us as a joke. just like joke now like, do you know what i mean right? person, yeah, you don't so, want him to be president uh, no you if you if can you, if, if you, you want him, yes right? if you believe okay. in it but don't do it as a joke. prank yeah. yeah okay so don't turn your power into prank <laughs> basically and that's how i wrap up this episode of tea time thank you for watching and just send your opinions via whatsapp to 09065719 or twitter to us at plus tv africa remember you can catch up on this episode and all exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch it time on Arrow to TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olua Yes, that's me. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe.